Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I'm here with an unboxing from Jada Gemshop. So I have two kits that had come in recently and I was really excited about and thought I would open them up with you guys and share them with you. So the kits I have to share with you guys today, this one is called Sail the Sea. It's by Amari945. And this one is called evening and is by Mimi Maru and these are licensed artworks uh, from the artist by Jada Gem Shop and I just I love them both this one Sail of Sea is, is uh, a newer piece that the artist has created and is gonna go with my collection from this artist in Jada Gem Shop which I did a huge haul video where I unboxed 20 of these kits at once from this artist and I'm excited to have kit number 21 to go with that and then there's just something about this artwork that was really speaking to me and um, I just I kept catch, catching my eye so I decided to pick that up now as I'm opening these up I want to give you just a couple of quick uh, tidbits information about Jada Gem Shop that I think you might find helpful uh, so first Jada Gem Shop is a small shop it's a one-woman show just one gal running it out of her home and um, all of her kits are made to order all the details are on the website that you can see and I think that they even have you um, agreeing to the turnaround time when you go to make your purchase but I just I want you guys to know in case it wasn't you, know, you aren't expecting it that it is um they are made to order and so it is sometimes a longer turnaround time I think that the last time I checked it maybe it was listed as three to twelve weeks but she tends to average around like a month to six weeks depending um and the nice thing though is that these kits are very very highly customizable you're getting to choose a lot of different things in particular you're getting to choose what exact size you're getting often there are multiple options as far as there's the original artwork or there might be a crop of the artwork available which is a really nice option and i actually went with for evening and i'll talk more about that when we get to that kit we're going to start with sail the sea um, you get to also choose if you want rounder square shaped diamonds. You can choose if you'd like them to add on crystals or ABs or um, glitter diamonds. And there, I feel like there's something else. Oh, you can choose if you want them to add on grid lines, which just kind of adds additional like distinct lines like in between like each of the squares. Some people prefer that for help with placement. So you get that highly customizable experience and I feel like a really nice quality kit. Another thing that would probably be helpful to know, just so you kind of know what to expect going into it, is that typically, and you'll see it, I'll show you up close, often Jada Gem Shop kits are highly confetti heavy. Um, they do go in and do some touch-ups by hand and try to, you know, take away some of the unnecessary confetti. Um, but just in general, compared to other companies, you might find that Jada Gem Shop's kits are a little higher on the confetti side. Uh, but I tend to really like that type of style when it comes to, especially the artwork that Jada Gem Shop has and that I am gravitating towards. And you know what, at first glance, I am seeing some color blocking in this kit, which I don't always see with Jada Gem Shop kits. So they're, they often are confetti heavy, but also there sometimes is some color blocking too. So um, you're gonna get, let me show you what was included. There's a bit of a release paper that's been included. You can use this in place of the plastic cover if you prefer. And then we also get um, a roll of green washi tape because jaded gem shop. And then it looks like they've uh, begun including these little cover minders. There's magnets on the back. You can use it to hold back the plastic cover. Um, Jada Gem Shop is also really incredibly generous with how they compensate their artists and so that's part of you know what was going into it because these kits you know a lot of people say that they feel like they're really on the more expensive side um, but I feel like for me and for what I'm looking for in diamond paintings the value is there for me and they do often run sales that you can absolutely take advantage of but everything is there like in writing on the website you can you know see all the information and Make a totally informed decision so uh, this is the original artwork again this is sail the sea by mari 945 we have the jada gem shop logo down here i got this in the size 40 by 60 i got all of my um kits in this collection from these uh, this artist in that same size so that they're all consistent in size and then over here you do get a set of pre-cut sticker labels for you it looks like this kit's gonna have 34 colors in total i did not have any Special drills added. I decided to just keep it as is. Um, and the right hand, and this column right here, we have the DMC color code, which comes from the DMC color code system, which DMC brand of floss and cross stitch. 
Most diamond painting companies use this system. And then we have the quantity, which is the number of each color that'll be found in this kit here in the far right column. So 34 colors in total, um, not a ton of colors, actually, I feel like given the, the size of the, the kit and the artwork itself, but I, I really enjoyed the kits that I've completed from Jada Gem Shop. And I'll try to have some reviews of completed kits from the shop linked below so you can see kind of how they tend to turn out. Uh, as far as, let's take a look, look at the features of the canvas. So Jada Gem Shop up here at the top. Um, we have the title here, Sail the Sea, Artist Mari945. We have these scalloped and poked edges. I've never had any fraying or anything close to fraying on my Jada Gem Shop kits. And the back is this kind of soft lint, short lint canvas. And I think it's one of the really nicer versions of that particular material. It just, I think it lays flat so nicely and is really nice to work on. Um, here's Jada Gem Shop socials. And we do have this shade green border that goes all around the side. The plastic cover is kind of a, it's a thick plastic cover. Um, I do like it. And there is very sticky port glue underneath. You're gonna find the legend down here at the bottom. And there's the original artwork, uh, the model number, and those last four numbers are the size that you got it in, so 40 by 60. And then we have a legend down here. I'm gonna recommend like doing maybe doing what I do, which is that I don't actually use the legend on the canvas itself at all. I just uh, use the stickers that this came with and put those on my you know storage containers, and I just refer to those. I look at the symbol on the canvas, go find that symbol on my you know drill storage, and then grab that color and then place it. So I don't even worry about the legend or having to go and look at it every time. Uh, the symbol clarity I think is really good. There is a lot of confetti down here. Um, if you don't know what I mean, by the way, confetti is where you have you know, a lot of color changes in a small area like we have here. And um, that, you know, down here, there's a good example. Uh, areas like that, like confetti areas, will take a little bit longer to complete or sometimes a lot longer if it's really heavy confetti like in here. But the payoff is that you often will get more detail or a lot of people find, and often I do as well, that it brings it a bit closer to the original artwork and can have a really nice effect. It's a softer effect. We do definitely have some color blocking though. Color blocking, great example here, is a bunch of the same color in a small area. So I'm gonna bust out my multi-placer, I'll have that color in my tray for longer, and that will move right along. And yeah, but no, like her hair and everything, there's definitely some confetti going on. By the way, don't panic if this looks a bit startling to you. Um, I have found with my Jada Gem Shop canvases that sort of the color that's communicated just with the symbol on the canvas, especially with like the black and white printing over the color, like my eye thinks that it's gonna be much more stark than it usually is like by, by any stretch of the imagination. So I really think that it's not gonna look this startling once you actually are putting diamonds down over these symbols. So let me grab my measuring tape. I always just like to double check. I do find myself with Jada Gem Drop Kits. <clears throat> I will go ahead and I will really gravitate towards kits that are smaller, whether it's, you know, in this case where I feel like the artwork is going to do okay at this smaller size point, or in the case of the next kit I'm going to show you, um, getting a crop so that I can get away with the smaller size point, but still feel like it's doing the artwork justice or true to size. Um, just so you know, I, I know that these kits are going to be a little bit more of just a mental undertaking for me as far as the high confetti count. Um, but by getting it a smaller size or getting a crop that I can get at a smaller size that um, that just feels like that's the best of both worlds to me. And I feel like I can just relax and enjoy the artwork that much more. And uh, there's something to be said for, you know, maybe a little higher, higher color count or confetti amount, uh, extending how long it takes to you to work on the kit. Maybe it's like, oh, well, your value <laughs> increases a bit with that as well. I've seen a lot of people say that actually. So we have these diamonds, they're in these plastic strands and there'll be some of these bigger bags and some of these smaller ones. They are resin squares and um, I have found like occasionally there'll be a trash prone color, but um, I have found that Jada Gem Shop gives you a ton of extra. I have never come close to running out of a color and especially like if there are tra more trash prone colors, like some of the dark colors, I have found that she gives even more extra than maybe other colors. But if you, you know, if you look at them, they look to me just at first glance here, they're looking pretty uniform in size and shape. Oh, is that her skin color? Three, seven, seven, six. 
Yeah, so this is, it's a little bit on the orange side, but the original artwork is kind of that hue, kind of stylized. This is that, this color right here. And then we have a bunch of this 3371. I'm guessing that's really in her hair. A bit of 310. I'm not really actually seeing much in the way of trash in those. Um, the DMC code is printed on these strands, and occasionally you'll, you know, if you have single ones, they'll kind of drop out. By the way, uh, because there are often um, like multiple sizes of bags for the same color, like for example, there might be some small bags of 3371, sometimes in like different bags because there's two different bags of diamonds here. Um, I would just say, you know, make sure you're checking thoroughly when you go to kit up so you don't get, you know, frustrated trying to predict what color size or color um, size container you need for each color. By the way, these do come in two bags of diamonds here, one of two, two of two, and then this model number here matches with the model number on the canvas and I think on the outside of the box as well. I tend to get my Jada Gem Shop kits in squares. Um, there's not a price difference for the same size kit in um, rounds or squares. And so I tend to gravitate towards the squares because the quality is pretty darn good. And I like getting that much more detail, especially it's like if I'm gravitating towards the smaller sizes, let me go ahead and get them with square diamonds so that I'm a lot less likely to um, not get enough detail. Let me word that better. I'm more likely to get to the level of detail that I feel like I want with that artwork. <laughs> So here's an example. We have 300 in the bigger bag, 300 in the smaller strand here. So I like what I'm seeing of the colors and of the you know drill quality. So it seems pretty consistent, honestly, with what I have worked with on. I've completed three or four kits from Jada Gem Shop at this point. This looks just very consistent with my experience, what my experience has been with uh, those other kits. And so I can feel pretty confident about um, sending you over to that review that I did in case you do want to see how these kits look completed. Now I'm just gonna set this one off to the side and I'd love to take a look at the other kit, which is called Evening. So here's the artwork again. And this was a crop of the uh, this is a, an option of a, a crop of the original image that I decided to go with. Um, and Mimi, Mimi Maru is the artist for this particular piece. And this is going to have much the same in the way of features. So I may gloss over some of those just for sake of ease and time. We're going to have the release paper included again. Um, we're also going to have uh, this larger sticker sheet. This is going to have quite a lot more in the way of colors. 59 colors and the size on this is 40 by 40 so it's actually smaller than the other one was but apparently a lot more in the way of color so i really do think that jada gem shop is pretty deliberate in terms of um going with colors like the number of colors that they feel are really going to suit the artwork the best uh we do have a minder a different kind of minder and some washi tape again and then let me show you the canvas. If you didn't see me do this before, I to help it lay flat more quickly, I do go ahead and just roll it the opposite direction with poured glue. And with these canvases, this really is totally fine to do. It's not hurting the canvas or the glue whatsoever. But here's this kit. Oh gosh, I love a smaller size kit. It can be so refreshing to work on, especially when we're looking at a lot of confetti. Like I said, I got this in 40 by 40. When you pick the sizes, uh, the size that you're looking at on Jada Gem Shop's website, you will see a mock-up rendering um, show up. Ideally, it should show up in that size when you click on that size. The picture should change at the top to go to the rendering of the artwork for that size. And I believe that they say that that's typically, um, that's not the final render. They do some more cleanup after that, but that will at least give you a sense for, okay, how much detail am I, like, should I expect to get, at least roughly from this size point for the artwork. And like I said, I really loved this artwork and I thought that the um, that the crop still really captured the, the spirit of the artwork and I still liked it. I didn't feel like a ton was lost. I think the full size artwork has like her whole body and it is really beautiful, but I just knew that I didn't think I could get it um, in a size that, that I was really gonna realistically work on. Um, like I said, this one has 59 colors. I also got it with square diamonds and I did not add any enhancement drills. 
And this is gonna have quite a lot of confetti. There's a little bit of color blocking up here on the corner. But as we get into her hair and kind of the, the sash or the piece of fabric that she's kind of swirling around her, uh, there's a lot of confetti. There's a little bit of color blocking down here, that, that pound sign. Uh, but the pinks, how many shades of pink do we have? That's gonna be so pretty. I'm really hoping her face is still gonna come through really well. I'm hoping at this size. Um, I like that Jada Gem Shop does offer some of these smaller sizes so we can still enjoy this really beautiful artwork. But I know for myself that I do tend to gravitate towards this really soft artwork, often with like, you know, soft edges, watercolor vibes. And so really I know what I'm getting into. I know that I'm getting into a lot of confetti. Here's that original artwork again. You can kind of see the render, but again, um, I feel like especially with some of the colors of the the symbols it just makes it look a little bit more harsh or doesn't totally communicate the true colors that are going to be there so but speaking of the colors here's our diamonds let's take a look and i'm not going to go over all of the features of the canvas and everything again just because we you know we just did that if you skipped ahead to this one and you're really interested to hear more about specific features um can i ask you to just rewind and watch the beginning of the first kit and that'll hopefully give you all the info you want to know. Kind of ivories and grays. I want to see some of these pinks. That's really what I'm, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> um, looking at the legend, it does look like there are quite a lot of shades of pink. There's a few just in this kind of set of colors here. These are hard, a little hard to show because they're in various strands and, and a cut off uh, bits. Um, If I had one thing that I, you know, in a perfect world, and if I were being kind of nitpicky that I wish could be done differently, I am not the biggest fan of just like all of the little plastic bags of these colors, but it's like, it's not enough that I would even say anything to Jada Gem Shop about it. It's like, I think this is just the reality of their manufacturer, which I will say that I see kind of these, um, some misinformation going around out there some people that are really really confident that like she does a certain thing with like who her manufacturer is and uh it's on it's not totally right so i would uh suggest that you know if you're really curious to find out more about that um jada gem shop has done some live streams where they've talked about that and uh i guess you know sometimes there are cousin companies or or sister companies and um yeah so i'll just i'll mention that i never want to like say anything like when i see people post you know misinformation but <clears throat> i'll mention it here just in case you were curious um and then we have some oops <laughs> dropping bits again lots of colors going on here um i feel like i'm not surprised to see that this artwork has a lot of different colors in it because there are so many different color families in it there's her skin tones, there's the pinks in her dress, um, the browns in her hair, uh, the dark grays and kind of the sash or what she's swirling around her and then the lighter grays in the background. I mean, it makes sense to me that we'd have quite a lot of color variation, especially with Jada Gem Shops, typically more like softer rendering style. So this is Evening by Mimi Maru and uh, from Jada Gem Shop. So, Thank you guys for watching this unboxing of my two most recent Jada Gem Shop kits. By the way, if you didn't know, Jada Gem Shop also does customs. Uh, that can include if you're do, wanting to do like an old master's piece, which is um, of public domain artwork from before the current copyright year, uh, she'll do customs. And I feel like honestly, old master's artwork is where Jada Gem Shop absolutely shines. Those <laughs> It's like, that's just the perfect match in terms of art style and rendering style. Um, I'm also, um, you know, I'm looking at, okay, what custom do I maybe want to order for summer with the masters this year? There's, um, there's a link on their website that'll take you to a form you fill out if you're interested in doing a custom and Jada Gem Shop will get back to you with some mock-ups and some size recommendations and thoughts. And uh, I would just mention that, you know, like I'm, like I said earlier, again, that Jada Gem Shop is, it's one person that's doing really all of it, including emails and everything and packing and shipping and all the things um, out of her home. And so I, with small businesses, 
I try to be incredibly gracious and understanding in terms of like, there's not a 24 hour customer service line and I'm trying to be understanding in terms of turnaround times. Of course, I want to hold um, small shops to like a high standard and I'm not saying like anything goes, but if you don't get an email back like within an hour with custom information, then that's, you know, that's maybe why. Maybe it helps to know that it is a small shop. But um, I have had a good experience with ordering customs from them. If you want to get a custom of artwork that is like by an artist that isn't necessarily licensed with Jada Gem Shop, she will let you do so as long as you provide proof that you have obtained permission from that artist, which I love that she's making sure that we're doing everything really above board in that sense. So um, I hope that this gave you a good sense for what uh, Jada Gem Shop has to offer. And I feel like as far as what you look for in your diamond paintings and your kits and your ordering experience, even like your turnaround time, that's all completely subjective. I'm definitely not telling you um, that, you know, this is, <laughs> I'm not telling you what you should like or what you should, where exactly you should buy your money at all. I'm hoping to just provide you with as much information as possible so you can decide for yourself, does this fit what I'm looking for when it comes to a diamond painting and um there are so many amazing offerings out there i i love what jada gem shop is doing and i have a number of kits from them in my stash that i have purchased and i um i reach for them relatively often so uh, like i said i just i really hope this video was informative and lets you know um what jada gem shop has going i hope that you will take a look at what they have to offer they have some really amazing artists really unique artists that you just really don't see anywhere else and they do new releases every thursday so that is, I think, the big info dump as far as Jaded Jump Shop goes. There's just a lot to know, and um, I wanted to explain it because I know sometimes there is some confusion. I hope that helps clear some things up. So I would love if you'd love to subscribe. If you want to see more diamond painting content from me, I try to unbox and review a really wide variety of shops here on my channel, especially small shops. And I do, you know, weekly whip and chats, tutorials, all the sorts of things. And I'd love to have you here. So thanks so much for watching let me know what you think down in the comments what's your favorite of these two kits or have you uh, made any purchases yourself recently that you're really excited about uh, or completed any kits that you'd like to share about thanks for watching again i hope you have a really fantastic week and i will talk to you again soon bye